All right, so welcome to week four, workout one. It's gonna be 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Here's a little overview and we're gonna go through all of the movements. So you're gonna start with an air squat or a prisoner squat. The only difference is that prisoner squat, your hands are behind your head. Um, you're gonna make sure that your weight is in your heels. You're not coming up on your toes. Your torso is staying upright and you're just gonna move as fast as you can without compromising your form. Just like that. Our next move is a side plank. So for this one, you can stack your feet or you can put one foot in front of the other. Um, you can do some up and down repetitions if you're really wanting to engage your obliques. And then you can also come onto your forearm. So if it's hurting your wrist at all, Come down to your forearm, totally good. Um, and let's start with the right side. Our next move is a skier or a skater. You're gonna jump into a curtsy lunge, touch down at the bottom, and make sure that you're not banging your knee in the back. You're also gonna keep your weight in your heel of your front foot and try and keep your speed up for this one. Next, we're gonna do the left side of the side plank. So same form. Remember that your wrist is stacked below your shoulder. You're making sure that your hips are not sagging. Um, and if you wanna do the up-down repetitions, that's great. If they get difficult, you can just hold the side plank at the top. Next move is a no rope jump rope. Essentially just pretend you're jumping rope and you've got the form. So keep your speed up for this one because it is pretty simple. And lastly, we have some knee hug crunches. You're gonna crunch up, bring your knees in, and you're gonna hug around your knees and hold it just for a second at the top. This is a great core exercise, and it's nice to give yourself a little love. So that's all for this workout. Enjoy.